Hi friends. Have you ever thought about how a refrigerator keeps food fresh and healthy? Here is how it does. There was no refrigerator in the past, and even after it was discovered, not every home had one. After an American named Fred W. Wolf invented the first home electric refrigerator in 1913. The days of burying food in the snow, or storing it in cold caves, to last the winter were long gone. However, no home today is complete without a refrigerator. Almost every home has at least one that is always turned on and working non-stop to preserve everything inside its safe. We are instantly reminded of its importance to our daily lives when the power goes off, putting our food safety in jeopardy. Let's dive into the video. Fundamental reason for having a refrigerator is to keep food cold. Cold temperatures keep food fresher for a long time and slow bacterial growth, making bacteria take longer to spoil the food. Bacteria, as we all know, can be found everywhere in nature. They can be found in the soil, air, water, and foods we eat. When nutrients, moisture, and favorable temperatures are given, bacteria multiply rapidly, reaching the point where some types of bacteria can cause illness. Every living thing has a preferred temperature in which to live. Consider humans, some of us enjoy the cold, while others prefer the warmth of the sun. Bacteria and other microorganisms operate similarly. They also have a preferred temperature and one at which they grow the fastest. Bacteria grow the fastest at temperatures ranging from 4 degrees centigrade to 60 degrees centigrade, with some doubling in size in as little as 20 minutes. Most foods are safe in a refrigerator set to 4 degrees centigrade or lower. If the milk is left out on the kitchen counter at room temperature for 2 or 3 hours, bacteria will spoil it. However, lowering the temperature of the milk will keep it fresh for a week or two, because the cold temperature inside the refrigerator reduces the bacteria's activity. By freezing the milk, the bacteria will be killed the milk will last for months. Food spoilage is caused by organisms such as Aspergillus, fungus, and bacteria such as Lactobacillus, Leuconostoc, and Podiococcus species. The average temperature inside a refrigerator, on the other hand, is 4 degrees centigrade. At this temperature, bacteria cannot function properly. We often feel lazy and want to curl up with a good book under a blanket on a cold or rainy day. Bacteria, too, lose their desire to do anything productive. Because most of their energy is used to stay warm at such low temperatures, they stop growing as quickly as they normally would. As a result, at such low temperatures, their growth rate is significantly reduced. This is significant because the doubling time, the time it takes for a bacterial population to double, can range from 12 minutes to a day. Cold weather isn't for everyone. However, this does not imply that they do not grow at all. Food cannot be stored in the refrigerator indefinitely. I am sure many of you have seen and smelled open milk cartons in the fridge that have gone bad. Keep in mind that bacterial growth has slowed, not stopped. Food does not rot quickly in the cold, but it does rot over time. Bananas, like other fruits and vegetables, are composed of cells with cell walls. Polysaccharides in the cell walls are broken down by enzymes, causing the fruit's vegetables to soften. The banana softens as the polysaccharides are broken down until the cells are almost completely broken down and the banana becomes inedible. Lipases, pectinases, and other protases are the most common enzymes responsible for food spoilage. Cold temperatures inhibit enzymatic activity and other biological processes involved in ripening. By storing fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator, we effectively buy more time before they rot. Which means it will rot eventually, but if properly stored in the fridge, it will take longer to spoil. This is why many food items include an expiration date as well as instructions on how to store the food at what temperature. Additional tip, do you think the position of the vegetables and meat in the fridge important? Yes. This answer may come as a surprise to you, but it is all based on basic physics. Cold air sinks and hot air rises. Because a refrigerator cools the air inside, slightly warmer air naturally gravitates to the top shelves, while the coldest air naturally gravitates to the bottom shelves. According to research, the temperatures on the top and middle fridge shelves are slightly higher than those on the bottom shelf. The British Food Standards Agency, FSA, recommends storing all packaged foods such as ready-to-eat meals, milk, yogurt, and butter on the top and middle shelves. Cooked foods should be kept there as well. The bottom shelves, on the other hand, should be used to store raw meat, fruits, and vegetables. Household refrigerators are not our only source of refrigeration. In the chemical and pharmaceutical industries, large-scale refrigeration units are used to store chemicals, medicines, antibodies, vaccines, and other items. I hope you like this video. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel Circle of Genius. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.